Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am the host, the whole Solid FN Show, RTD, and um, I'm coming to you with this video of Steam. That's right. Just wanted to let you guys know that I've been seeing a lot of people. I too had trouble with this. That there's really no answers out there to actually that people are giving they're calling people morons for not knowing how to do it so I am here to give I guess a tutorial for dummies for this I too had a problem with this so keep that in mind you open up steam they're telling you to like many people are saying open up steam go into your library and hit this plus thing and hit the icons and there's all your icons that's fine if you want the icons in here so let's just make this huge so you guys can see it all right so let's just uh, then they say hey let's just right click it go create desktop shortcut and there you go easy fast access to the game each of your games but as you see a trend in common what people are having is the icons are all coming up as steam icons this is the icons that everybody is talking about so let's show you how to fix that because you idiots out there saying all you have to do is go here and boom the icons are there well that's not what people were talking about what you want to do is let's do it with American Truck Simulator right click on it go to properties go to local files browse local files and that brings us into the American Truck Simulator through Steam apps and command then you want to go to bin as you can see my program files are 86 so choose the 86 one or the 64 if it's 64 or whatever you have I have Windows 10 so whatever Windows 7 was or Vista or whatever so choose that and you'll look for type application just application and you'll see the icon there and that then you want to right click it send to desktop shortcut boom there's the icon that everybody wants but you guys who are saying, you know, calling us idiots and whatnot, this is what you want. Then you could rename it as American Truck Simulator or keep it as AM Trucks Shortcuts or just, you know, whatever. Same thing. Then, you know, just go here to Commands and it will jump to all the other games you have. So Game Dev, you want to open that up. And for Game Dev, I don't know why, but it's this one. It doesn't actually have it, but... You go to this one, right click on it, same thing, send to desktop, and boom, there it is. Then go jump back to command, house flipper, choose house flipper, and send to desktop. There. There they all are. That easy. So, and it if you actually let's just minimize this and close this and minimize that see what I should have done was went to individually did that instead of jumping around like that but that one went, the way I showed you was the fastest way but let's just minimize that so let's just click the desktop so nothing's highlighted go over the steam icon of American Truck Simulator it says run game ID if you go over the truck simulator game it shows you where it belongs like what file it is same thing with game dev and on this one game dev same thing with house flipper same thing with house flipper and they all start up and they all run so this they go through Steam this they all go through their actual applications so there you go ladies and gentlemen 
I just wanted to help you out, and they all work. Let's just open up game dev for that. So you guys all know, you just start it up. It starts, and boom, right there, solid ink. Game dev tycoon. Click to continue. And there you go. I just lost 10 fans. Okay. <laughs> but that's same thing with House Flipper and American Trick Simulator. They both take a long time to open. So I'm not going to open them. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope that helps you on how to do it. Now you could go back, watch it slowly, because I went through it pretty fast. So you could cut it, break it down to watch it for yourselves. Thank you and have a solid day. In the words of Jim James E. Cornette, thank you, fuck you, bye.